Minecraft. A game that I honestly never really played before. I actually don't play a lot of video games, but I do understand its appeal. It's essentially a free roam game that encourages all players in all parts of the world to enjoy the simple parts of life, like making a pickaxe to mine for diamonds, or cutting trees to build your own house, chatting with friends, exploring mysterious caves, going into a magical portal to fight a fire-breathing dragon that disturbs the peace of all nature, nothing but the fire things in life. Now I have just one simple question for good old Hollywood. What in the fresh hell makes you think this movie needed to be made? Especially with the way you're executing it. And how horrible it looks, and how would you allow this to be greenlit is insanity to me. This is probably the worst decision you could possibly make for anyone's career. And I guarantee, and I guarantee you it's gonna flop bef long before the movie comes out. I especially hate the trailer because it's just this kind of setting in a movie where they go from one world into the world of, a ma of like magical stuff that happens. I feel like this sort of story is kind of overdone. I mean, why can't the characters just already exist in that world and just live life there? Like, why does it have to be from one place to another? Is the reason why they do it is to save money? Well, they might as well have wasted it because no one's gonna watch this horse shit. And not to mention the one thing that I hate the most with whenever it comes to animation, whenever animation has been turned into live action. Disney is pretty infamous for this now. It's becoming more of a nuisance to, to cinema, and Minecraft isn't really helping its case. It's even more unprofessional when they call it a Minecraft movie as opposed to the Minecraft movie. So are they assuming that they're going to make more of these films after this film comes out? I highly doubt that. And the next thing I hate about this unprofessional way of marketing is just how lazy it looks and how unimaginative it looks. It looks cheap, it looks like it's it wasn't polished yet. It doesn't even have anything really to the imaginative eye as opposed to what it advertises because it's controlling the story when the whole point of the game is that you control your own story. It's a free roam for, for fuck's sake. You can't make a free roam game into a film that just takes away from the purpose of why it exists in the first place. It's like making a GTA game into a movie. I'm pretty sure some idiot's gonna try and do that too, even though we can just make a simple crime movie about stealing cars and shit. You don't need to take the IP of something that already exists and making it into that. You can just make a crime movie. I'm going in a tangent. Back to Minecraft. This movie's gonna suck. Just based on the advertising alone. And it kind of reminds me of the same piss poor marketing that Sonic did. Even though that at least got the return because pretty much everyone is gonna have a love for Sonic regardless of how he looks anyways, people still bought into it despite that unprofessional mistake that they make that could have easily saved them a lot of money if they didn't make it in the first place. And talking about the opposite of unprofessionalism would probably be the Mario Brothers movie, the trailer. I'll admit, it's a pretty good trailer. It almost made me want to watch it. Almost. And I say that because I don't want to give Illumination any more money because I don't want any more Minions movies. I mean, those fuckers need to die. The, the point is, like, that movie trailer at least showed some form, of, some form of faithfulness to the original product that they're trying to sell. And at the very most, it looks exactly like what you'd expect from what, from what you would want to see in a Mario film. Or just in Mario in general, from a, in a theatrical standpoint. You can see that they're at least trying to make it appealing for the eyes of people who would most likely want to see that happen. And it, and it delivered. It, it really did. And it, and it deserved that sort of recognition. And I'm glad that I did. I'm still not going to watch it because, you know, Illumination. Right, and Minecraft could have actually done that if they just, you know, made it animated, I guess. But what they're doing right here is simply just trying to do the bare minimum so that they can get a little bit of a quick buck here or there. And so that the next time, within like maybe 10, 15 years or so, they're going to try it again and try to make the same amount of money, if not more, by making it exactly what people wanted it to see as. Which is very slimy and very manipulative. And I'm just thinking, why not just do it right the first time? If by any miracle, if you can call it a miracle, that this has a box office return of any kind, I'll just assume humanity has gone off the deep end. But also, I'll eat my words if that ever does happen. And I'll probably delete this video in the process. But as far as I'm concerned, it stays where it is because this movie can go to hell. I, I don't know why Hollywood keeps delusionally thinking that this is effective marketing. Like, they can show a bunch of noise and a bunch of stuff that happens, like, Hey look, there's the Creeper, and look, it's Minecraft Steve with his bearded face. 
Except he's a dude played by Jack Black. Okay. Great. See, I feel so heav heavily strong in terms of movie marketing to be as professional as possible because you don't know how much you're going to lose your audience, not just with the movie that you're trying to market, but just with your whole entire company completely being demolished and that, the, and that you had to fire so many of your workers because some things didn't work out. And it makes boomer marketers essentially believe that it's the, the workers' fault that made, the, made it the way that it did, but you idiots told them to make it that way in the first place. So you're the ones that fucked up, not the workers. They're just doing their job. So th what I'm afraid of is that this movie flops and so many people are going to lose their jobs because boomer marketers think that this is, needs to be done. And it's just really, it really pisses me off. Like someone besides me on social media is going to speak their mind and say, we're done with this. We're not gonna deal with this anymore and just boycott movies altogether. I don't necessarily want that, but at the same time, it's well deserved for that to happen, and it's just really concerning as to why this keeps ha why this sort of marketing keeps happening. It's I honestly don't get it, but I, I know one thing's for sure: this movie is not going to see the light of day, not for one second.